Hey, this is Brett at Brett Bum on Twitter and YouTube, and I wanted to show you uh, something that I'm playing with this week. I'm using a tool called WP Roundup, and I'll get more into that in a second, but I want to show you the problem that I have first. Uh, as you look at my browser here, I've got lots of browser tabs open. What's been going on is that I've been working on coding a page template, a relatively complex page template, uh, and I'm working in my local site through MAMP and things of that nature. Um, but the thing is, I've been working with advanced custom fields and working with repeater fields and doing some of the coding that it takes to make uh, all of that information that I capture in the fields show up on the page. So just to kind of give you an idea, here's the actual individual post page. There are a number of tabs and what have you in here and all of the information within those tabs are fed through advanced custom fields and then I have a table of results that I collect and each time I do a test it will collect a new row of results so that's kind of the concept of, of the output I'll show you what it looks like behind the scenes this is my uh, entry section for this particular page normal WordPress section here but then I get into the individual tests I can add as many of those as I like and then I have a number of other fields as well that populate the different sections of that site. And it's all based on advanced custom fields. Well, the problem I ran into, well, not so much a problem, but as I went through the process of learning and solving the problems of how to achieve the result that I needed to, which I've done, uh, by the end of my work, I realized that I had all of these tabs open. Along the way, I knew what I was doing for the most part, but Every now and then I'd run into a little bit of a question or a little uh, you know, individual thing that I hadn't done quite that way before and I needed to find the answer to it. And you know that leads to Google searches and new uh, blog articles and solutions from other folks. And I realized I got all these tabs. I've kind of got this breadcrumb list of all of these things that helped me solve the problem of how to create this work. And I wanted to see if I could find some way to share that. And that's where this little tool called WP Roundup comes into play. So now I'm over in my business website at softdoit.com and I want to create a blog article essentially talking about all of this stuff. So I'm going to put in a little text here. Here are some of the articles and tips that helped guide my work with advanced custom fields and some advanced page template work in Genesis or Genesis framework in Studio Press. So that's just the setup. So what I'm going to do is all of these little articles and things like that, they all played a part in what I was doing, uh, including uh, this list of the snippets from Studio Press is one of them. I'm going to go through and I'm going to attempt to add some of these using this tool called WP Roundup. Now I had to pay 20 bucks for this tool. It's from uh, a company. They go by uBrand Inc. They've got uh, a couple other tools that I like as well. At times they feel a little buggy. Not this one, but some of the other tools. They're not the most solid things in the world, but I like what they do. And I keep playing with them, looking, watching them build these tools out better. So anyway, what I do is I've copied this link, or the first one. I'm going to do this for each, each of the tabs in my browser. I'm going to push the load link button. And it's going to load some of that text. Basically, it's going to pull in the headline for that particular site. And a summary or commentary of what's going on in, in that particular site. And if there's an image, sometimes it'll show an image, but... It's not pulling any images in for that particular one. And then I'm going to add that post to uh, my actual blog article. Now, up here, I'm going to put something, just a, a note for myself. The block quote is going to go here, or start here, just so that I remember. Because the formatting of these, especially if you do a lot of them, can get a little busy. I just want to remember what's going on. So I'm going to hit this button, and right after I do that, it pulls in. Uh, the title, then the summary, and it adds uh, a quick link back to the article. So I've got it sourced, and 
Now, from my perspective, I can delete that tab, and get rid of it, and clean up my browser, and I can go to the next one. And this one was how to create a custom template in Genesis. So I'm going to go back to my blog article. I'm going to clear everything there, and I'm going to put the link in, load the link up. Wait for that to load. There it goes, pulls it in. This one happens to have a couple uh, images, but it, it just seems to be pulling uh, what's probably uh, ads or something. I'm going to go ahead and select one just so that you can see how that works. Uh, you can pick images to uh, reference if you like. And I'm going to put uh, via as opposed to repeating the title down at the bottom. Slightly different. Come back up here. Hit return. That in just hitting the little button notice that it adds the image this time clear it all again go back and I can now drop that one this was a super handy little article in the documentation from advanced custom fields itself on the Peter fields so I'm going to pull that one in repeat this process a few more times Load the link. It's still loading. Again, I'm going to do a via. Uh, they've got some images. And I'll pull on that little one this time. So I bring all those in. Make sure that my cursor is back in my text up there. And I'm going to add it all to the blog article. Again, close that tab, move to the next one. This was another great article. This was from a design by Nick the Geek. Does a lot of stuff with Studio Press tutorials. Great stuff, great designer, great developer. Pull it in up here, load the link to reference it so everybody can see that I learned a couple little things from Nick. I take, give him all the credit for helping, but I take all the responsibility for anything that I screwed up. And I'm not going to grab any of those pictures this time around. I'm going to do it via, oops, wrong button. Change that and add it in. There we go. And I'm just going to keep uh, going through the list. So I'm grabbing each of these. This one's another great article, super handy, this one. Um, custom, uh, custom post type archive templates. Grab that link. Clear the old ones. Make sure it's in there. Load the link. So I can pull that information over from the site. And what this is doing is it's basically saving me the time of going in, copying the links, getting it all sorted out, and figured out where things are going to go, and, and so forth and so on. I'm not sure what the author actually looks like, so I'm not sure which of those images might even apply. Grab that one, this little thumbnail this time to reference it. Add it in. I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit. I don't want it to look exactly the same. Great list of uh, articles here, all sorts of uh, great stuff, organized by basic, intermediate, and advanced. From, I think it's Bill Erickson. Clear the last one, add this new link from Bill, load the link in. So you're kind of getting the idea. And I've got several of these yet to do. Uh, while I'm waiting for it, I'll get my category going. Via Bill, no images on that one. Add the headline. Snippet, the link. This one's from Kevin Hoffner or Sho or maybe Schofner. Schofner, yeah. Uh, or Schofner. Clear the last one. Paste that link in. Load the link 
back up. Add that one in too. So we'll quick return. Need to go by the codex as well for a couple quick ref refreshers. Go ahead and add that in as well. I mostly just want to capture everything that uh, I needed to reference as I was going through this. Um, partly, you know, it's like a breadcrumb of everything that I had to do to figure this out. Uh, some of it I had the general idea of. Every now and then, you know, I needed to, you know, am I getting the hook right? Or, you know, did I spell it the right way or did I put the right order? Sometimes you get a little dyslexic with uh, the ordering of some of those hook phrases and stuff like that in Genesis or even WordPress itself. Oop, now in that case, I added that one twice. I'm go in, get rid of the extra. Make sure I don't hit the button twice. Clear everything. This was a handy looking little tool. I didn't actually use this. This is a uh, a little video, advanced custom field, uh, um, well, I found an advanced custom field video thing, but this is a list of people using uh, advanced custom post types uh, in different ways. So lots of uh, super useful stuff in there, but it was I think that was a search result, is what I'm trying to say. So we'll load that link up. And then we'll, once that's loaded in, do another via add to post. There it is. Ah, this was the uh, this is an item off GitHub. I almost it's a little uh, add-on for advanced custom fields. Another part of it. Almost uh, added that to my site. I still might do it. It's a nice way of adding, making sure that when you're working with advanced custom fields that it adds the video correctly, whether you're adding the URL or you're embedding it or iframe or uh, whatever the case may be. I don't know if this one will even pull in since it's GitHub, but we'll see. No, that one, that one didn't pull anything in. So I'm just going to add part of that. Let's see, we'll just add the, we'll add it in, but I'll delete out the extra text. And a couple more of these and we'll be done. One of the things I found is as I was looking for specific answers, a few people, they might have the generic title, uh, you know, working with advanced custom fields or page templates or what have you, but they were, uh, in some cases, they were answering different uh, pieces of the question differently or better than others. They might do one part of the tutorial really well and then miss something on the other. So I found a number of situations where I was looking for uh, different answers and finding bits and pieces of it all over the place, even though the titles of the blog articles looked almost identical at times. There's another one from, I think it's Bill Erickson. Change that to via. Go back to the post, we'll get the picture that time. That's where I'm at it, put him in the tags. And let's see, delete that one. Advanced custom fields forum. Sure, why not? Went through those a couple times. That was a search date out date outputs. It threw me for a loop as I was trying to figure out the date picker. Just as an example, I still need to figure out a couple things on uh, the formatting of the of my dates. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. I'm not totally happy with what I've got yet. But I can't quite figure out if it's something in MAMP that's conflicting with the date picker or the version of PHP or if I'm doing something uh, incorrect. 
What I'm talking about is when you look at, uh, this is a nice clean date, the name of the month, the day, and the year. But in my test results, my date is kind of ugly looking. It's got the year and the numbers all run together. So I need to clean that up. Went into the PHP manual just a bit. I'll go ahead and add it in. Also, like I said, I wanted, I just wanted to capture everything that I checked on my way because, uh, you know, sometimes when you're looking back and you're looking for that answer, sometimes you can find it in your browser tab. Sometimes you bookmark it, um, but this might be a little more useful uh, in a blog article where I have it in context with everything else that I was looking for at that time. And it might also be useful for uh, for some other people that are looking for these answers. They might uh, be able to find it in context because some of these Google searches, you know, People are writing up these tutorials and some folks are doing their SEO work and some aren't. And uh, you don't always find, you know, I was two or three pages deep sometimes finding answers. You know, some people might not necessarily make it that far down and might not find what they're looking for. So maybe I can uh, help them find it through here or maybe you know, my link will push somebody else's article up so it will be found better, faster next time. Whatever. Load this one more link in. Headline, open the tab, that was just a Google search. Close that one, close it out, add another tab, back to Carrie Dills. Another one on page templates. I've done lots of page templates, but in this particular case, working with custom post types and with uh, the advanced custom fields, I was running into a few different things, uh, trying to get the advanced custom fields at the right place within the loop. I hadn't seen before working with page templates. Some things in Genesis page templates are real easy. Some things are a little awkward, in my opinion. Pick one of those, maybe. Let's see if we got this at Carrie Dills. I'm going to go ahead and add as well. that post. Another one from support. Lots of references here. Bibliography out of control. But I'm going to try and turn that into a blog article. Fields, add it. Art of blog. And let's see. This was a, another good one by Bill. Lots of good stuff by Bill in this particular series. He covered quite a bit. Like I said, there was just a few situations where Either I wasn't getting it or I was missing something and going to a number of other places too. Sometimes I just had to look at it in context too. I needed to see two or three different things together just to make sure or rule out what it was I was doing right or wrong. Didn't use that. I'm gonna go ahead and close that down separately. Here's another search on YouTube videos and in the forums. I will add that one. That was very illustrative. Some of the questions in the forums did uh, help, and I did find some of the partial solutions where it pointed me in, in the right direction at times. That's the type of thing that you don't always think to document. You know, 
I did a forum search and I saw the result in the search as opposed to the individual post or something like that. It could have been a couple things. My goal is to document it. Even the columns. I use these all the time, but I I was uh, missing a word. I didn't have the first in there for the first one. So I, four o'clock in the morning, uh, missing something. To do a quick search. I may know it well. I even know where to look for it. Uh, but uh, other folks, they may you know, they may not be familiar with the column classes from Genesis. So maybe my breadcrumb will help point them in the right direction as well. Maybe page titles, nice little action hook. I didn't actually need to note that either. I needed to see something about priority you know, with add remove. And I happened to find that within uh, that particular post, if I recall right. Here, Joffrey Rickaby. That's a character from a steampunk novel. Okay, so we're almost wrapping things up. Page titles. Yep, I already did that one. Sorry, another duplicate. Oh, I, I see. I forgot to clear it and add a new one. Okay. So I might go add. This one is one that was driving me a little nuts moving stuff around. This is another one of those priority issues. I was trying to get the priority of where to move things up or down and figuring out how the priority number worked. Couldn't find anything that clearly spelled it out until I was getting close to the end. And uh, this gentleman, Sridhar, uh, lots of great articles from him actually. Uh, in general, I've seen, I've read his stuff before. Column. Add that in. Snippet of headers, all sorts of stuff like that. Another one from Sridhar. Get the studio press in there, add those in. So we'll multitask just a little bit. Hook reference. See that right at the end of the tunnel now. Add 
I moved the comments down at one point in time. And then the comment list was on the wrong position. Priority hit me again with that. On four in the morning, I was having tons of priority issues. But eventually got it worked out. Move that in. Help someone else. Google search. A couple places. I saw a couple things where I thought the tips would be useful in the future. I didn't actually need or use them this time, but uh, um, this one was one of those articles. Customizing the content forms, changing the you know, generic verbiage that might come with your particular theme. Chris Cree here had an excellent article. This is, I think, the one that actually uh, finally saw this actually talks about priority. Great little segment in there on priority. Loved that. Let me actually awesome. Because uh, clear that with his in. Uh, artificial Chris in there. No. Get his name in there. Yeah, I think he was a guest author or something like that on this particular blog article. Mm. Let's highlight that just a bit. Okay. So that was a great article. Tying up loose ends, last couple things. There we go. And I even uh, uh, double checked, couldn't remember how to trigger this manually. There's a nice little plugin that uh, from allows you to see just kind of give you an idea uh, where each of the hooks are uh, in your actual theme so you can see it in the live theme a couple different ways to run that from the admin menu if you're logged in and uh, or there's a manual way to trigger it too I don't use it all the time but I use it every now and then the uh, WordPress load that in that's our last one close that down Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to initially save this as a draft for a couple reasons. And while I'm in here, this is the uh, code that I ultimately generated for my single view. This isn't the archive page. I had to uh, remove, add a number of actions. A lot of testing. Uh, I was using a bit of a short code to create my tab. Uh, functionality very handy little thing I'll probably go back and as you can see I'm starting to change it to more of the Genesis way after the fact but as I was testing I needed to move things around quickly and so I was doing some of that and then I get into my actual uh, get subfield so I creating a loop to go in and, and trigger some of this stuff and I'm going to come in and create just a bit of a screenshot of this 
And that's going to be my uh, for lack of something better. I'm going to make that my featured image just to get the full effect. Not the most meaningful image, but it's better than nothing. And I just want to see the, the full finished product at the end of this video. Put that in there. So custom post type and advanced custom field code. Something like that. Give it a name. Set that featured image. And we're good. So now I'm gonna publish it. Everything should be set to tweet, send out to Facebook, etc. Yada yada yada. Publish. Let's come on. It's done. Got the spell checker double checking me. I've got some additional formatting to do just to clean it up, but I want to I want to see this thing live real quick on my site as it loads in. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna view this post. Launch it up. Here's the article. And you can see some of those images layered in there. I can always go back and add more information about why I put each one of those in there. But mostly I just wanted to have that list of all the work and research and things that I touched uh, in here. But as you recall, I put this block quote reminder in here. Sometimes with these, I forget to block quote it off. And from my perspective, these are all block, these are all quotes of other people. Uh, and I'm mostly just trying to make sure I give credit where credit is due, as well as document it for myself for the future. And just scrolling down and Block quoted off. That's good. Long list of great articles, resources, aided and project building out a new website. This is for a project I'm working on for myself. LWP Beam Speed. Self. And okay. After the deadline, gets you every time. Loading up. No, I'm slow. <laughs> Long day, coding all night. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm ready to go to bed, finish this video, and it's taken forever all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's see if it's through. There we go. Now we can see it. It's kind of all blocked off. That's where I want it. Home page, make sure that the featured image is running as it's supposed to as well. There we go. Get the code dump. So there you have it. There's a, a quick way to go through and you know share all those tabs and capture those puppies. I didn't have to write all those up. I knew what I'd used them for. They're there. And they might help somebody else and they might help me in the future too. So there you have it. Hope that might help you as well. If you're looking for that tool, just a reminder, it's called, um, if you scroll down, there it is, it's called WP Roundup from uh, uBrand. I believe it cost me $19, although I have uh, another plugin by them, uh, Curation Traffic Plugin. It's a plugin that allows you to cur curate things through a browser plugin. I don't use that as much as I used to, but uh, that might allow me to get some sort of discount on this plugin. I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't too much money, like 19 bucks. I think the original plugin cost me 50. So there you have it. There 